Hi everybody, Miss Jenikin here. In this video, we will be playing a math game using dice and to help us practice adding. So the goal for today, everybody, is that we can add. Can you say that? We can add. Do you remember, if you watched my last math video, what it means to add? I'll give you a hint. We've got some of our um, sentences down here, our math sentences. When we add, we take two numbers and we put them together to find a total or the amount that there is. So if I have two pens over here and I've got two pens over here, I would say two and two is four. That's right. You just said this math sentence, two and two is four. Or if I have three pink markers and four blue markers, what could I say? Three plus four equals seven. That's right. So you just read this one. You read this sentence. Three plus four equals seven. We also learned that this is the fancy way of writing our addition equation, just like mathematicians. Can you say that? Mathematicians. Mathematicians are people who do math. So you are a mathematician now. So what we're gonna do for our game is I am going to play with these two dice that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, they came in a pack of two. So if you're interested, you can find your own dice. You can use big dice, small dice, um, or you can just have mom or dad or yourself think of a number between one and six, okay? So just to remind us, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So on this dice, I have up to the number six, six sides. And then I also have another one with the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to use these dice to play a game. You're going to roll the dice and then you're going to see what the numbers come up on the top. And then we're going to write our math sentence. So what you need to play the game with me is two dice, a piece of paper or a whiteboard, and that's it. Okay, let's get started. Everyone say, we can add. Awesome. Here we go. All right, here we go. So again, what you need to play this game is two dice. And then we're also going to be making a domino looking thing, which is two squares. And every time we roll the dice, we're gonna draw the dots in the dice. I mean, in the squares from the dice. So we can really count. So we can be able to add, okay? So we're gonna be writing equations, rolling dice, and it's gonna be super fun. Um, all right. We'll start by rolling the dice. Now, when we roll dice, normally when you're playing a game or when you're doing something like this, when you roll the dice, you look at what the top says. But for this game, I'm gonna roll the dice like this, ah! and I'm going to turn them to face you guys so you can see the two numbers, okay? Do you think we can do it? All right, here's my first roll. Okay, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Take two. Oh, cool. All right, so here we go. For my two dice, I rolled a one and a two. So we're gonna start by drawing the dots on here, okay? I'm gonna use a blue. One, two. And then 
I'm gonna use pink on this side. And then what was my other number? One. So we have two plus one equals how many? How many is it all together? Three, that's right. So when we write our equation on our paper, we're gonna write two and one equals three. Did you see how I did that? I'll move it a little closer so you can see. Two plus one equals three. Because when we have two over here, and then we add one more, we get three. All right, let's do another one. Let's see if Miss Jenna can, can roll this time, ready? Okay, well we got four there. Let's roll this one again. Oh, what did I get? Oh, four there. Okay, so if I'm looking at my domino, I'm gonna erase the ones I have. Okay, how many go over here? Four. One, oops. One, two, three, four. And how many go on this side? Four, do it with me. One, two, three, four. So what would be my equation? Hmm, what would I write? What would be my math equation? That's right, four. And what does the symbol mean? Plus four. And then I make what symbol? Equals, that's right. So then I write equals, how many? Eight, that's right. So then let's go ahead and write it on our paper. Four plus four equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. When we do math problems like this, I call them doubles. So when we have two of the same number, four and four, it's a really fun way to practice addition by just using the same on both hands. Four and four is eight doubles, right? So double four equals eight. Let's go ahead and write eight. Just like that. Does your math equation look like mine? Awesome. Roll again. Okay, we got a five and a six. Okay, five plus six equals what? Hmm, well, we're gonna start by putting our dots on the domino, right? How many over here? Five, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So we got five on this side, five plus Six. I was counting in my head that time, but hopefully you were counting out loud with me. Five plus six. Oops, that was a silly looking six, my goodness. If you ever make a silly looking number and you can't read it, definitely you wanna fix it. There we go. Five plus six. And then what do we say? equals now do you remember my trick from my last video where you always just say the first number in the equation and you count on from there five six seven eight nine ten eleven wow so for this equation we are going to write five plus six equals, what did we say? 
11. Like that. Wow, we've already written three addition problems. Let's do two more, and then I encourage you to try to write your own five more, okay? Let's keep going. Okay, <laughs> hopefully I don't hit my camera. We'll do one at a time, that seemed to work last time. Ooh, we got four again. And five. Okay, so for this equation, we have five plus four equals what? Well, first we'll start by making our five. I'm just gonna keep it on my domino from last time, but if you erase yours, I'll give you a second to count five. One, two, three, four, five. And then over here we have four. One, two, three, four. And then we say equals, hmm. So we start by saying five, and let's count on. Six, seven, eight, nine. So our equation will be five plus how many blue or pink, it doesn't matter, four equals, what did we say? Nine. Now for this equation, how could you also know that this is nine? I'm gonna ask you another question. What is five plus five? That's a, prob a doubles problem that we've practiced. Five and five we know is 10 because we've seen it on our 10 frames and our fingers. And if we have four, that's only one less than five. So in your mind, you might think, oh, I know that five and four is nine because it's only one number smaller than 10. Okay? If you didn't understand that one, it's okay. We're gonna keep going with our last one. Okay, get your dice. Pew. Ah! Okay, that one was too hard for Miss Jenikin. Bad choice. Try one more time. <laughs> okay, we'll do this one. Okay, we got two and five. Sweet. All right, so we've got five and two. I want to ask you a question. If I'm showing you these dice right now, and I've got five over here and two over here, do you think it's going to change if I just turn it around? Does that change how many dots I have? Because now I have two and five instead of five and two. Well, I'm just curious because for the last two equations, we've started with the number five and I wanted to see what it would be like if we did a turnaround and switched it. So we're gonna erase our domino, okay? And we're gonna do Two over here. I'm gonna put a two right there. Two plus two, three, four, five equals how many? First, let's say two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for our equation, we would write two plus five equals, oh, my markers are flying everywhere, seven, like that. Okay, so here's my question now. Are you ready? We have seven here, right? because two plus five is seven. Do you see? 
What if I said, what's five plus two? Could you tell me that? I'm gonna do the same thing here actually with our domino. I'm gonna erase the bottom and I'm gonna move it over here. And I am turning it around so right now, right before we wrote two plus five, didn't we? Yes, on our paper we wrote two plus five. I'll hang it right here again. And we said it's seven. Oh, that's annoying. Let me make it straight. Two plus five equals seven. Now we're gonna do something. We're gonna turn it around. This is called a turnaround fact. Can you say turnaround fact? Okay, so now our equation is gonna look different. Five plus two equals what? Is it the same? Let's count on from five. Five, six, seven. So two plus five equals seven and five plus two equals seven. This is called a turnaround fact. Because whenever we're adding, oops, I'm so sorry, I'm shaking my camera. Whenever we add, it doesn't matter which is first. It doesn't matter if the five is first or the two is first. The answer will always be the same. Isn't that so fun? All right, so I think we've done enough together. I made these, or we made these five equations. Okay? Now, I want you to try and make your own equations at home. All right? Have so much fun. Happy uh, rolling. <laughs> um, and I enjoy, I hope you enjoy uh, this math game as much as I did. Okay? Have a great day.